we have a vernier caliper here so on the left we have the mean scale and on the right we have a vernier scale okay so how do we read we go to the zero on the vernier scale and we draw a dotted line here so this is the point that we are trying to read okay so first of all we read from the main scale okay this is 30 this is 35 so this will be 31 mm 32 33 okay so it's 33 mm point something plus this small part here okay so we write down 33 point something mm so how do we fill in the last digit okay we go to the vernier scale okay we see which line on the vernier scale forms a straight line with the line on the main scale so this is crooked this is also crooked, crooked. So the only one that is straight is number five. See, it forms a straight line throughout. Okay, so the last digit should be 33.5. And also that means this small gap here, it represents 0 0.5 mm. Okay, so the correct reading, it should be B. Okay, this is a definition question. Okay, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. So, rate of change means uh, it's actually a change of velocity divided by time. Okay, so the answer is D. Okay, we are asked what is the direction of the frictional force between the wheel and the road surface. Okay, this uh, scenario, right, is is very different from a normal moving object because for a moving object right if we are moving this way the frictional force is always opposing the motion however for in the case of a wheel right the frictional force is always in the direction of the motion of the car so if the car is accelerating to the left the frictional force will be to the left as well Okay, let me show you why is this so. Okay, imagine this pencil is the road surface. So, this eraser, it, is, it represents the wheel, so it's going to go round and round. So, as it approaches the road surface, it's going to rock again this way. And rock again this way. Okay, do you realize that when it rock, right, the, the eraser actually bend to the, to the left. And see this bend to the left because there is a frictional force that is preventing the rotating of the wheel and it pushes the eraser to the left and this force is the frictional force indicated by option D here let us recall that inertia is the reluctance of a body to change its current state of rest or motion okay so in this case we are talking about inertia and inertia depends on the mass the larger the mass the larger the inertia the smaller the mass the smaller the inertia so in this case we are asked what is the name of this property it should be mass we have a ball that is rolling down a slope of 2 meter with an initial speed of 3 meter per second. So that means at this point, which is the initial location, the ball already has kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. So as it rolls all the way to the bottom of the hill, it has no more height because the height is 0 meter so there will be no more gravitational potential energy so basically all the energy here has been converted to kinetic energy okay so we are asked what is the kinetic energy of the ball at the bottom of the hill so that is the sum of the ke and the gpe at the beginning okay so now we can start okay the ke here right it will be half mv square half times 0 0.6 times 3 square so we will get the answer as 2.7 joules 
and the gravitational potential energy it will be mgh so it's 0 0.6 times 2 times 10 and we'll get 12 joules so the total energy that it has which is the total ke here it will be just 2.7 plus 12 we'll get 14.7 joules answer D